I just got a job at Samsung, says Warpig. Time to give everyone I hate a Note 7. <laughs> Too soon, bro. Thank you for your answer before, dude, says Nicofair57. What do you think about the Warcraft 4 possibility? Do you think they will do it? Uh, I don't know if they will. I hope they will. But I have no extra data compared to you guys. Literally none. So it's only my greater than usual unintelligence that could uh, dictate the answer here. At this point, I feel like there is so much crossover between uh, different different games. The player bases are all spread out over different Blizzard games that I feel like any game that comes out is both strengthening their entire brand and market while at the same time slightly cannibalizing the other games. For example, uh, when, uh, when World of Warcraft Legion comes out, you'll see a siphoning away of heroes of the storm players whether that's for a short time or for a longer time it uh Alright, so uh, we're just gonna let this guy eat his burgers, uh, so long as he describes taste, <laughs> we're satisfied. But yeah, uh, the whenever there are different games coming out, other Blizzard game fans will try it out. No, no pickles. Hallelujah. Bacon and what else? Describe, please. Some mushrooms, not bad. Salad. What kind of bread? Sounds not so great. Sounds remarkably not much better. Hmm. I think a burger revolution is far overdue. Don't you think? I heard, and I don't know if it's true, that pickles are only McDonald's only on McDonald's burgers to, so that it's not technically a dessert. I don't know if that's true. It's not, I mean, I'd like to believe it. There are nice burger shops, but ordering them online in Germany is always shit. Hmm. In, I need to share one more thing. In Korea, I saw burger joints. Where the bread is made of compacted rice and the burger is actually multiple pieces of bulgogi, which is marinated meat. It's not much of a burger re anymore, is it? Or is it? Maybe it is. Okay. I'm glad you know. And I'm glad we did this. Thank you. Let's play. Excellent. We should do this more often. <laughs> Ready to work. Yes. 
I only forgot to play elevator music. Yes. I can do that. I can do that. What do you want? We need more gold. We need you more think gold. that's their way of making their own style burger? I think you're right, Caesar 2K. Replay of the month so far. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Get him! Be happy to work, work. Boogie doogie. Be happy to. Yes, it's Excellent choice. We're under attack. Get him! Oh, master. Yes, I can do that. I am yours. Oh, I am yours. Work and work. Yes, yes, Lord. I got one more hit than I did. One or two. Be happy to. Yes, I know that, Cedar PL. Yes. Let's stick to tier two. Let's go a little crazy today. Hello, who knows zero zero one? How are you? Yes, What you want? Yes, Excellent choice. Yes. What you want? What task is there, Master? Double. Upgrade complete. I hear Work the call of the wild. I thank you. Pitching in five for an undead request help me out like minded viewers. Also, I would like to thank you for setting an amazing example of what a stream can be. Aww. Never stop being you. Dude. Thank you, Raka Kaka 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 Kaka. I thank you. Hey, Grubby. Was wondering if you have tips on how to beat map hackers with human. Thanks and love the stream. Yeah. Creep small, tech fast, get casters. Don't be creep jackable. Don't take big camps and stuff. Yes, Lord. 
That's the best. Just don't take risks. That's what they thrive on. Whenever you think, if I get creep jacked, I'll get screwed, don't do it. Step away from the vehicle. I had to do it. <laughs> what have I got myself into? <laughs> we got the grunt. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, kind of get our bearings. <laughs> get in! TP. He needs to gain some collision on my towers. <laughs> oh man! What about that? <laughs> Come on, you fat Kodo. There we go. We're under attack. Our town is under attack. Oh. Take to my feet. Put past me there. I am. What do you want? Oh. Ha. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's remake Beastmaster too.
It was very lucky that he didn't crit. Yeah, sure. Why not? Our paths converge. I'm acting on instinct. Yes, Lord. What lies before me? What you want? Can't build there. We're under attack. Yes, Lord. I am yours. Yes, Lord. Enjoy the rest of the burger. Good stuff. I don't know what's uh, what's gotten into us today, but we've done two of these tower rushes already, and they both worked. Why not? Why not? Replay of the month. Can you use Wind Riders? Okay, I'll try to use Wind Riders uh, sometime today. I do. Maybe next. We'll see. Uh, yes, they did, Okash GG. Yes, they did. Uh, how do you deal with Cho'Gal? Uh, Tychus is the best, Lucas Sam. And also, don't focus Cho'Gal. Go for his allies. I assume this will end up on YouTube. I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Probably. Really? That was kind of like not a high-level game where we're both messing around a little bit. Yes, yes she is, new brood law. Definitely. Do you think about Likings? I don't know him. No, no thought really. Can you tell the Pit Lord story again? I love that story. The one where you accidentally picked him and I had to play him in competitive. Ah, it's so nice. I almost feel like a grandfather here. Telling a story that people already know. <laughs> ah, why not? Some people may not have heard it yet. But I'll tell the short version. The, one of the biggest tournaments of the year, probably the third biggest, yet with the meaning that it carried, possibly top two or top one, depending on which tournament you value more, BlizzCon 2005. Several of the best players of each region, America, Europe and Asia, met together in 
America for a BlizzCon. Something you're doing? Yes. There was a winner bracket and a loser bracket, which means you are allowed to lose one best of three, no more. I had made it through the winner bracket to the grand finals against South want? Korea's hopeful, mm -hmm. Zakard. He was also an orc player, and I had defeated him previously in the winner bracket match. In the rematch, we met in the grand finals. He had defeated everyone else. What do you want? <gasps> <Ready to work. laughs> He's eating his chicken wings now. First burgers. I just wonder what he's gonna have for the third game. Third game he's gonna sip a milkshake and eat his McFlurry. Though by the time it might, may have melted. I can already hear it's not gonna be a short version. <laughs> Alright, let's just uh, kind of finish it off then. So, uh, anyway. We met in the grand finals and he had defeated everyone else to make it through the loser bracket and the winner was gonna take it all. Gonna take the $10,000 and the uh, first prize and uh, the sword trophy. Something and during that time, the meta of Orc vs. Orc was hyper aggressive, especially on Twisted Meadows. You would start with the Farseer, who would give you a ranged attack, which could harass the opponent's peons, and also use Feral Spirits, a summoned creature, to buffer your initial unit count and do bonus peon harass damage. You didn't really expect to kill any peons, but you wanted to damage them, to set back the opponent's tech. Yes. He was doing the same thing, Ready the other. Work. Every time, Farseer first, two grants, fast tech. And you both pick up a Fire Lord second. Fire Lord, one of the worst late game heroes, but one of the best early game heroes. You get those two together, and you apply a lot of pressure. Yes. Or at the very least, stop your opponent from mm -hmm. applying that pressure on you. you Not taking Fire Lord was yes. generally tantamount to suicide. Any other hero would be too slow and not be able to hold that kind of attack off. Even Shadow Hunter, who was theoretically better as a second hero in Orc vs Orc, often did not survive the Fire Lord rush. So imagine my shock and surprise as I did a single misclick on a key that was right next to the hotkey for Fire Lord, and instead of hiring the Fire Lord, I hired a Pit Lord, who is a late game monster. Once he gets level 6, which by the way, almost never happens, but once he does, he will dominate the game unless something goes miraculously wrong, terribly wrong. Hitlord is insane. You almost never see him at pro level because he is absolutely atrocious in the early game. So you hire that instead of the early game rush hero Firelord. If I had had time to breathe, I would be Putting my hands in my hair, if I didn't care about messing up my hair, which I think in 2005 I already did, but anyway, it was pretty shocking, let's just say it like that. I was very shocked, but he did not hire the Fire Lord, which would have probably marked the end for me. Instead. He hired the Alchemist, who is pretty good early game actually, and is also a monster late game. But he is very weak in his defense. He has a very low armor class and low attack speed. And because of this, he often gets focus fired down if he gets focused. Now we both had a weird hero, for seemingly no reason, the spectators did not know what's going on and it was all about a misclick. The reason he took another hero, presumably, was because he thought that I had something special planned and he also needed to throw me off. I also had already won a series with standard play, so possibly he wanted to change it up a bit. This is the best that I could tell what was going on. It made for a... In hindsight, legendary game where we did both reach level 6. And we did both get our ultimates. And those ultimates are far better than any of the standard heroes, except Demon Hunter, ever get. Blade Master gets a 7 second massively area of effect damaging spell that allows you to decimate the opponent's army. During those 7 seconds, you're also magic immune. It is insane, and yet, 
it pales in comparison to the Alchemist and the Pit Lord's ultimates, which is pretty much the instant death of an enemy unit and the, tra and the replacement of it with something very advantageous for yourself. So in the Alchemist case, level 6, it's called Transmute. You sell an opponent's unit. You kill it instantly, any unit, including magic immune units, and you will get gold for it. The Pit Lord takes a little bit longer to devour his prey. You cast Doom, which is an inevitable, that means you can't do anything about it, an inevitable death. Imagine knowing the time of your death. No matter how much you heal that unit, eventually he will die, even if you just stop healing him out of sheer boredom or lack of resources. And then it turns into a Doom Guard. A demonic hero strength level summon. Which has four different abilities. Warstomp, Dispel, Cripple and Rain of Fire. When this baby comes to mess with your day, you better go back to bed. Doom guard. Never before or afterwards seen in competitive play. All resting on a mistake. A misclick. Kirby, next time, please tell the long version of the story. <laughs> no, that was the long version. And that, my little children, is how it all came down. Now go to bed. Oh, where is he? He has dust and speed scroll, so if he has a shadow hunter, he can kill me. So it's best just to leave now. I don't want to go to bed yet. <laughs> All right. You don't have to. Uh, correct, Dark Omicron. But I didn't know that for more than five years, so I feel like it's not that relevant for the story. Can you use Pit Lord next game? Vote Blade Master, next hot hero. It will not be level six, I can tell you that. So it's gonna disappoint compared to the story. Telling me, oh, spend extra care on uh, not giving you unit kills. Mm. 
Your under attack. It be a pleasure. Yes, he did. Good talk to them. I am certain. I am yours. Yes. <laughs> it's lethargic from too much burgers. Well, that's a luxury problem if I've ever seen one. I can't believe it! Oh my god, the Crip Jack! But he cannot coil it, Ellie Giggle. Run! <laughs> right into the loving arms. 